<laughs> I'm such a kid. Like sounds like so much peeing. <laughs> Do I look pretty? Jenna. Are you gonna tell me I look pretty? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, it's your girl Taylor and welcome to my channel's Taste Tips, the go-to place for skincare, beauty, and lifestyle videos that dare to break down barriers and challenge expectations. And I'm super excited today because I have my girl Ariana here. Yeah! Um, Ari is usually behind the camera like working her magic, but today we decided we're going to do the Dr. Jart Shake and Shot masks together. So we both saw these on Instagram and instantly fell in love with the packaging. Um, as you can see, like the front of it has these babies on it. It's kind of bizarre. A little, a little creepy. A little creepy. creepy. A little creepy. A little creepy. Um, but we decided to give it a try. And so what it says it does, mine, I'm going to be doing the yellow one today with the blue baby mask is actually for hydrating. My skin feels kind of dry today, so I thought that, you know, I could use an extra boost. And what's yours? And I'm doing the brightening, the instant brightening boost, and it's good for all skin types. So this is going to be our first impressions. And if anything, I think this mask is going to be super fun. We'll see if the results, you know, if it promises to do what it says. But um, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the review. So the steps for making the mask, Ariana, is going to be my hands today, because, you know, these hands don't work like they used to. Um, it says to pop off the lid and pop off the cap, and it comes with this, like, handy-dandy spatula, which is actually kind of nice. Um, and then when you open it, you actually get two packages. So let's see what the packages say. This one contains the water botanical mix plus vitamin B5, and then this one is the super booster. I mean, it's it's pretty easy, guys. I'm just walking you through it. And um, you says to put both of them inside of the actual yellow cup and then mix it and shake it for 30 seconds or until you stop carrying the mixture, and then we will apply it to the face and see the magic happen. Yes. Okay. Ow. Ow. That does not look fun. It's like jelly. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting jelly either. I thought it was going to be like a powder. Me too. It's probably going to feel so slimy on the face. <laughs> but I guess this is the hydrating one, so. So now we're on to packet two. The first one was really slimy and let's see what this one i think this one's supposed to be more of a liquid it is, it is. <laughs> i'm such a kid like sounds like someone's peeing <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah there's like a lot you actually got a lot of product in here i mean it kind of sucks that um you can only use it once but you do get a lot of products. So now we have packages one and two inside of the actual, you know, yellow cup. And it says it has a little hole on the top of the baby's mouth where the spatula used to be. So it says to just cover your finger over it and then shake the hell out of it. Shake, shake, shake. Oh, the sound goes away really quickly. <laughs> okay, so the sound of it has stopped. So we're gonna open up and see if it is ready. Very cool. Very cool. I'm not gonna lie, it's not the most like welcoming thing you want to put on your face, but um, you know, Dr. Jart, we're gonna give it a we're gonna give it a try. I think it's just a little bit sit for 30 seconds after you've opened up the lid. Um, there is quite a bit of product on the inside of the lid, so I would suggest like maybe scraping it in with the rest of it, and then it suggests you leave it for 30 seconds and then apply it to your face right away. That's why we're doing my mask first, because I need help with the application, and then Ari is going to put on her mask, and then we will wait for, I think, 20 minutes? 20, 20 minutes. minutes, and then give you guys the results. So 
So in applying this mask, um, in the middle of it, we've both kind of come to the conclusion that the spatula, it's not our fave. It's not our fave. I see the pros and cons because then my hands don't get all this like clay stuff on it, but then it's a little bit harder to apply it. Or maybe just because I'm not used to it. I think if I were to do this video again or try this again, I might use just like a basic um, makeup brush, like a one that looks like a paintbrush from like Morphe or something. I tend to like those better for applications, but you know, it came with the product, so we're trying it out. Um, but application's not the easiest. So now the mask is all applied, Ariana is going to go get her brightening mask on and then we will be back in 20 minutes to peel it off. So for me, it's been about 20 minutes. Ariana is coming up on 20 minutes in just a few minutes. So we're going to peel off my mask. I can actually feel it hardened quite a bit, not as much as um, peel off masks that I'm used to, but again, mine's supposed to be hydrating, so I don't know if that's part of it. Um, it doesn't really have any scent to it, right? Mm -hmm. No scent. No, no scent to it. It's a little hard to apply, but we'll see what the results are like when we peel it off. It feels. I feel. I feel like my face is hydrated. I don't know. It's hard for me to tell. Does it look hydrated to you? It does. It does. Yeah. Yes. It feels fairly hydrated. Um. Yeah. I'm actually kind of shocked. To be honest. I always like don't go in with the highest expectations, but my face feels pretty hydrated. There's a few pieces. There's only a few pieces left. You just kind of washed off with the cloth, it says. But, um, yeah, I'm actually impressed. <laughs> so, my mask is completely off, and I think that it is visibly more hydrated. Mm -hmm. So, the Hydro one, the Shaken Shot, did its thing. And we're going to see if Ariana looks bright like a diamond. Yes, it's shiny like a diamond, but bright like a diamond as well. <laughs> she got so many hairs in her mask. Yeah. Uh, it's so much more interesting seeing it coming from someone else. Oh, you got your flower in one shot. Oh, your face looks, it looks like replenished. Does it? It actually does. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like, I have such low expectations for this. It's like one of those products where you see it and it kind of looks a little, you know, a little gimmicky and like something where you'd be like, ah, oh, it's just for the gram, which I mean, it looks great on the gram, but you, your face looks really replenished. So this is like the immediate post. So mine's like hydrated and it's oh, it looks good. <laughs> it looks really good. Yay. Yay. So for our final thoughts, um, what did you think? It, well, Tay said it looks brighter. I just went and looked in the mirror. My face does look really nice and dewy, so I'm really impressed with that. Yeah, and my face definitely feels hydrated from what I was starting with today. And I mean, it is one of those products that it is $15 and you only get one use out of it. So that's kind of like, okay, we just did a $15 mask and we will never be able to use it again. But I think if you kind of want to spoil yourself, have a little fun, if this isn't something you do all the time, then I definitely think it's worth it, personally. Mm -hmm. I think I would definitely like buy this again. I might try either the soothing one out as well. Um, but yeah, I think overall I'm fairly happy with the process. Yeah, yeah, it was really fun. So if you are thinking about getting this product, let me know in the comment section 
down below and if you enjoyed watching my video I would love it if you could hit that like button and subscribe and I always do mask reviews skincare reviews also my podcast is on here so if you want to see more of me please hit that like and subscribe button and until next time thank you so much for watching love you bye, bye.